Hi, and welcome to CoinRoo. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can make the most out of your use of CoinRoo. CoinRoo helps its users to catch market opportunities and protect their portfolios with automated trading. What you're looking at now is CoinRoo's dashboard, where you can see an overview of all your rules. You can check how each rule is performing at any time and see the cumulative profit and loss of all your strategies to date at the top of the dashboard. You're in full control of the rule. In fact, you can pause and start them again at any time. Clicking on archived allows you to see a complete history of all the rules you have ever run. When you first sign up, you will find the rule which is already running on the demo exchange. The demo exchange is a useful way to test your strategies before launching them on a live exchange. Connecting an exchange. When you are ready to connect your wallet, you can find the list of all exchanges you can connect to on the exchanges page. With the starter plan, you can connect up to one exchange and upgrade if you need more exchanges. For each exchange, you will find an easy step-by-step -step guide explaining how to create the API key that you will need to link the exchange to CoinRoo. As a security measure, all API keys must not have withdrawal rights. That means that there's no way for CoinRoo to access your funds. Instead, your funds are safely stored on your exchange wallets. On top of that, we encrypt each API key for each user separately. Security is always our top priority. Let's talk about building rules. With CoinRoo, you can quickly develop trading rules and set them up to run automatically. It is the if this then that for cryptocurrency. First, select the exchange you want where you want to run your rules. You can check your available wallets and balances within the rule page here. Now you can specify the conditions that will trigger your orders. For example, if Bitcoin has price decreased by 2% from the current price, buy $100 of that coin, in this case Bitcoin, using your USDT wallet. There are endless possibilities of different strategies. In fact, there are over 7,000 different combinations you can build with CoinRo. Mixing up different conditions and running strategies across multiple coins will help to raise your trading game and you can adapt it perfectly to your own style of trading. Down here, you can set the number of times you want the rule to run. Give the rule a name and you're ready to launch your first automated trading system. You get a plain English summary of the strategy, you press launch live, and the rule goes into the market. Now, if you need any assistance with rule creation or any ideas, you can also choose from over 180 templates to suit your needs. The template library is available on the top of the rule page, and you can select from a range of different categories of rules. One of the most powerful features you will find on CoinRoo is the possibility of running strategies across multiple coins to catch more market opportunities. By selecting any coin, you allow the bot to pick any coin available on the market. For example, on Binance, the bot would now check your condition against hundreds of different coins at any time. If you select any of my coins instead the rule will only choose those coins you already hold in your wallet this allows you to protect coins with a stop loss or take profit with one single rule like this if any of my coins has its price decrease by five percent sell 20 percent of that coin to my usdt wallet it's that easy the coins are traded on the market depending on the trading pairs available. For example, if you select the USDT wallet, the bot can only pick those coins that will have a trading pair with USDT to trade. 
Now let's talk about the demo exchange. You can test your strategies without the risk of losing your capital on our demo exchange. The rules will run as paper trades on a simulation of Binance. When you create a rule, you choose the option demo exchange in the exchanges selection. If you want to modify your demo exchange wallet balance, you need to add the coins to your demo wallet manually using a direct order. For example, if you want to test a strategy for Binance coin, you need to have it on your demo wallet first. Let's buy some BNB Binance coin. And uh, it's very easy. You just set up the coins you want to buy through the direct orders. And with a few clicks, this will execute and you will have the respective balance in your demo exchange wallets. Let's talk about operators. An operator represents a logical connection between different blocks of the rules. So it will be easier for you to create more advanced trading strategies with operators. Operators allow you to define multiple steps for your rules and you can quickly set stop losses and take profits across all your trades like this. If any coin has its price increase by 6%, buy $100 of that coin with my Bitcoin wallet. And then if that coin has price increase by 5%, I want to take profit and sell 50% of that coin back to my Bitcoin wallet. However, if that coin has its price decrease by 5% from the price at which you bought, I want to sell 100% of that coin back to my Bitcoin wallet. So I have a take profit and a stop loss easily in one strategy. You can choose between five different operators then anytime or do not and wait then and anytime help you to specify what the rule should do after the first action was executed with the then operator your rule will execute sequentially every step will only run once the previous block has executed this action here will only run once this condition has been met, which will happen once this, which will start being checked once this action has been executed. Actions that follow the anytime operator will execute at any point when this condition has been met. That means that you are effectively running two rules in parallel to each other. The OR operator helps you to define alternative scenarios for actions depending on which condition is met. This way you define what action should execute depending on the condition set here. And you can also use the do not operator to avoid trading specific coins. Let's assume that you don't want to, to buy specific coins in this rule, I don't want to buy, for example, Cardano. I can specify it here. And the same way you can specify the bot to not sell certain coins that you hold. Um, you can use the wait operator to time actions or, for example, wait for confirmation to double check a condition before taking a certain action. It's that easy. Um, now let's launch this rule. Let's close this, launch this rule. And let's talk about the activity log. The activity log can be accessed if you click on the rule details for any rule. After launching your rule, you can keep track of its activities here. You will find all the relevant information regarding your rule starting from the setup parameters and the date of the launch here. When a condition triggers an order, 
you will find the entire history down here with the precise quantities and prices of executions. The graph at the top shows how the profit and loss of the rule has evolved over time. From here, up here, in one click, you can pause, start, edit, duplicate, or delete the rule. Let's go back to the rule page and discuss the types of rules that you can build with CoinRule. There are three main options. There is direct orders where you can directly execute trades if you don't want to go and log in separately into an exchange interface that may be complex. You can simply execute multiple buy or sell actions that will directly run on the exchange. With the timer, you can schedule your rules and send recurring orders onto the market at specific intervals of time. This is a perfect option if you want to accumulate or sell coins periodically. If you want to build a dollar cost averaging strategy, for example, only once a certain condition is met, you can easily do this here. Now, every six hours, the rule will check a certain condition. Let's say if Bitcoin has its price, has its price decreased by 3% from its current life price, I want to buy $50 of Bitcoin with my, let's say, USDT wallet. And this rule will now run and accumulate Bitcoin for you. Um, finally, uh, we have what we were already discussing, the event condition trigger, um, where you can specify with up to three different conditions and also multiple steps that you can add to the operator, uh, what, the, what orders the bot should take sent to the market. You can choose between price, volume and market cap indicators. And here you also have access to technical indicators such as the RSI, the relative strength index or, or different types of moving averages. Let's talk in more detail about technical indicators. Coinru allows you to add the most common technical indicators to trigger the rule when market conditions meet your expectations. At the moment, moving averages and RSI are available, but new options such as MACD will be added soon. Combining up to three different indicators makes the strategy very advanced and flexible at the same time. You can select RSI, different types of moving averages crossing each other and different time frames, all from one place. Different indicators can provide different trading signals, so combining them can help to improve the strategy's overall result. You can try technical indicators for free using the demo exchange on a starter plan. Upgrading your subscription unlocks the use of indicators for rules on live exchanges such as Binance or Coinbase Pro. Let's talk about timeframes for a moment. You can select, uh, after selecting an indicator, you can select a rule to trigger in a certain time frame. For example, a price increase can be calculated within six hours. That means that the price reference to calculate this 5% price increase is updated every six hours. The bot uses the reference price to calculate the price target that would trigger the order. Now let's assume if the price reference of a coin is 10 USD and the desired price increase is 10% within six hours, then the coin's price must reach 11 USD within the six hour period. Otherwise, once the six hours have passed and the condition of 10% price increase has not been met, the bot will take the current price as the new reference point and from there on again, wait if the price will increase by 10% in the next six hours continuously. Only if this condition has been met within these six hours will the order execute. In this way, the condition will follow the price trend dynamically. As a reference, you can view the timeframes as the candlesticks of a chart. Alternatively, if you don't want to set a specific timeframe, you can select from current market price. 
concurrent life price. The price reference now doesn't change over time. The bot updates the reference after the rule has been triggered and the condition is checked again. Let's talk about order types. You can choose between two parameters for your strategy orders, market and limit orders. A market order will be filled immediately at the best available market conditions when it reaches the order book of the exchange. If you are buying, you will buy at the best price offered in the order book. If you are selling, the executed price will be the best bid at that moment available in the order book. Now that means that if the coin is not very liquid, the bid and offer prices can be relatively far apart, which can result for you in some loss due to slippage for your orders, which means that you buy the coin you want to buy at a less optimal price than you wanted to originally. A limit order, on the other hand, can help to reduce this effect of slippage on less liquid coins. The bot will use the market price that triggers the order as limit price order, meaning that the coin cannot be bought or sold at a higher or lower price. However, limit orders can result in fewer executions since the bot will wait for this precise price before it executes. You can increase the possibilities of, execute, of executing the order by changing the settings for limit orders. Let me show you how to do this. Go into the settings page here on the left. Here you will find the option to increase or decrease the margin for limit orders. When the bot sends a buy limit order and you have selected 1% as your acceptable range, the order will execute if the price is within this 1% from the price you have selected in the condition. This means that your trade is more likely to execute, but you might receive a less optimal price as long as it is within this 1% range of the price you have specified. Let's now talk about wallets. Currencies from which you can buy or sell other coins are called so-called quote currencies, and you can find them listed in the wallet dropdown. They will define what funds the rule will use for buy orders and where the proceeds of the sell orders will go to. If you buy Bitcoin with your USDT wallet, the bot will exchange USDT for Bitcoin. The wallet dropdown lists all the quote currencies available on the selected exchange if you have previously chosen the option any coin or any of my coins. If you set a specific coin in the dropdown, it will only show the currencies you can use to trade that specific coin on the exchange. In our knowledge base, we regularly share trading strategies, trading ideas, and tips. You can also join our Telegram community to always stay up to date on all new strategies and discussions. If you have any questions, you can always reach us at support at coinwheel.io or talk to us via the chat down here. Thank you so much for your attention and trade safely.